how to build your personal brand from scratch. We are taking it back to basics as if you're literally starting from zero. And I know in most cases this isn't going to be you, you've at least got an Instagram, a Twitter or a YouTube with a couple followers on there. But how do you scale that? How do you reinvent yourself? How do you put yourself in a position so when people hear your name they know exactly who you are? I know these are the questions that are burning so in this video I'm going to tell you step by step how you can build a successful personal brand. So make sure you stick around and listen to all of the steps. Step number one is to tell your story. What a lot of people fail to realise is social media is just storytelling. When you think about it, it's just a bunch of people telling their story in one way or another. We see this on Facebook updates, Twitter rants, Instagram stories. We see this all over the place. It's just a form of storytelling. Now I feel like people do understand this but when it comes to their own personal brand, they just completely forget it and just feel like they must be sworn to secrecy and sharing too much in a positive light is seen as oversharing or just being up yourself and that is because we're programmed to believe that we should only share the negatives. Now what the best personal brands out there have done well is share their story in a way that's inspirational. They haven't just gone on to share a rant with no solution, they have shown transformation. Yeah they've showed the negatives but they've also shared how they've managed to spun that around, spin, spun? spin that around. They've shown a vulnerable side which then makes them relatable but they've also shared the journey of how they've become the success they are today and this is why we love them so much because they've shown us step by step, piece by piece, by piece I can't talk today, piece by piece the story of their journey and this is what you guys need to do yourself. You need to be sharing your journey, documenting the failures, the successes and this is what makes you really relatable. People feel like they can trust you, they see the transparency and this is what builds your brand into the success it's going to be years to come. So what do you need to do? Tell your story and do not try to tell me you do not have a story to tell. Everybody has a story to tell. You are going to be relatable to somebody out there and a lot of people need to hear your message. So you've clicked onto this video because it's obvious you want to learn how to build your personal brand. How can you have a personal brand if you're not personal? Ask yourself that question. So what I challenge you to do is whatever social platform you have, whether it be Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is, I challenge you to right now or at least at some point today, write something personal about yourself. It can be anything, it could be what happened today at work, it could be something that happened to you the other week, it could be how you're feeling, it can be anything you want to share, I challenge you to share it today. And then once you've done that, come back to this video and leave me a comment because I want to hear about the response that you had. Step number two, choose one platform. Common misconception, you must be on every single platform there is out there in order to be successful. Now comment below if you think this is true or false. You cannot put your 100% focus into five, six different platforms, you are just going to burn out. My favourite YouTuber, Sunny Leonard DZ, focused on dominating YouTube before she moved on to any other platform. Just pick one thing and stick with it. If I tried to grow YouTube, my podcast, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook at the same time, you wouldn't be watching me right now. Also, Gary Vee made sure he dominated Twitter, got all the way up to a 1 million followers before he even moved on to any other platform. Trying to juggle so many different platforms at once is just going to cause you to be overwhelmed and burn out. So what you want to do is find that one platform that's your sweet spot that you can manage and that you love and enjoy to be on and work on dominating that, building up your audience and then slowly move on to dominate in the other platforms. When you're just starting out, you need to think frequency and consistency rather than intensity. And to break that down, it means creating frequent content regularly, maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks, is so much better than being intense and posting twice a week, three times a week, and then the next week, nothing. So always remember frequency and consistency rather than intensity. And honestly, I do understand, I completely get why this seems baffling. How are you meant to just be on one platform? Of course you need all the other platforms in order to promote that one platform. And it's not necessarily you being on other platforms, what's the problem? The problem problem is how much time are you spending on these platforms. For example, if YouTube is your main platform, why are you spending 2 plus hours, 3 plus hours, 8 plus hours on Instagram, thinking about captions, editing pictures, on your stories a bit, you're just wasting so much time. 
for the sake of I need to promote my YouTube video. What you need to do is set out one day a week where you can just schedule everything for every other platform so then you do not have to be spending so much time on a daily basis thinking right I need to write a caption before you know it two hours has gone. That two hours could have gone into you creating that YouTube video and this applies to any other platform. If Instagram's your main platform why are you spending two to three plus hours on Twitter scrolling, on Facebook scrolling, watching cat videos, watching dog videos? That is a huge waste of your time. So it's time to take a bit of responsibility and accountability for your actions and just stick to that one platform and dominate in that one platform. If it's YouTube, do not care about how your captions on Instagram are looking. Just schedule them out. You can always come back and nurture that platform once this one has fully progressed. So how do you choose a platform? Choose a platform that plays up to your strengths and you enjoy to be on. Do you prefer video or written content? Maybe a podcast is better than a YouTube video because you don't necessarily have to show your face. Pick a platform and put 100% of your focus into that platform for three solid months and you will be amazed at the results from just doing this. As for the other platforms, set out one day a week where you can just plan out all the promotional content you're going to post for your videos in that one day. Therefore, you're not scrambling and you can put your full attention back into that main platform. Step number three is to learn from the best. Who is your favourite personal brand or influencer right now? You need to study them as if they were your degree. Your favourite influencers are literally giving away content for free and if they're good influencers who are actually providing value, they are telling you how to do exactly what they did. And the reason they do this so confidently is because they know 90% of the people that watch their video are not going to take action. They would rather watch a motivational video on how to do it rather than actually do the work. Do not be this person. Soak in as much information as you can and execute. After every single video you watch, go out there and do exactly what they've said. You're literally being coached for free. Now I'd say to only do this for up to three influencers at a time. The reason being is because if you just choose too many, you're going to overwhelm yourself and fall back into that hole of content consumption where you're just gaining joy from that 30 seconds of motivation but you're not executing. So write down between one and three of your favourite influencers and only learn from them. Step number four is to develop your brand style. Developing your brand style takes a lot of time and it's probably going to change up quite frequently but start to think of how you're going to show up in a consistent way so that people begin to recognise you as you grow. Of course this can mean the fonts, the theme and the colour scheme that you use but that is really just the basics. Think about how your tone of voice is going to come off. Are you going to be straight facts? Are you going to be light hearted? Even think about your editing style. Is it going to be jump cuts or is it going to be bold or are you going to be more aesthetically pleasing and calm? These are all things you need to take into consideration when building your brand. So I suggest just coming up with a brainstorm of how you want your brand to be or even just think of adjectives you'd like to describe your brand and that way you can start to piece together how you're going to create this consistency throughout all the social platforms once you finally get onto every social platform of course but your overall brand is not just what's in front of you on the screen it's also your presence how you are and all these factors need to correlate well with each other as I've said this is going to change up quite frequently so don't get too caught up in perfecting it a great way to gain inspiration is by looking at your free favorite influencers and doing a social media audit on them writing down their tone of voice their editing style how they present themselves how they write their captions, their copy. Start writing all these little details down and it'll soon start to give you some ideas. Step number five is to start seeing yourself as a brand. You need to start seeing yourself as the brand that you want to build and I hear this all the time. People are waiting until they've gained an audience before recognising themselves as a brand or calling themselves a blogger, coach, personal trainer, whatever it is. How does that even work? How are people meant to find you? How is your audience meant to find you if you're not even telling people exactly what it is that you do? You're waiting until you have a bunch of followers before you finally announce, oh, and by the way, I'm a travel blogger. What if they're not into travel? What if they don't wanna see that? And then you've just lost all the followers you've waited so long to build. 
hopefully you can start to understand why this just makes no sense you need to start seeing yourself as that authority as that brand that you're wanting to build from now and it's just a great way to practice the role you do not want to build an audience announce a new role and then not really understand or know how to play a part or how to serve that audience well start to create content as if you're already that brand as if you've already made it put it into your bio tell people about it don't keep your brand to yourself I knew for a while I wanted to be a coach and I shied away from it I didn't tell anybody I kept up the role of a travel blogger a blogger only and in the back of my mind I was burning because I knew I wanted to teach people and I wanted to be a coach and I wanted to offer consultations and this and that but since putting it out there I'm already attracting new clients and I'm still very much a beginner totally in the beginning stages of my journey but because I put it out there people are already starting to recognize me as that authority and if I would have waited until I got perfect at it then I still wouldn't have announced it and up until this day I still wouldn't have been attracting the right audience step number six is to teach people so I shared this message with my email list recently and it's that you need to be educating people in some type of way when you are starting from scratch people have zero reason to follow you or care about your life story because they simply don't know you you have to plug them something that gives them a reason to actually pay attention to you in the beginning stages of your journey in fact in all of your journey you need to be providing people with free resources free tips free advice and free content you need to be providing solutions to questions generosity attracts people to you and you can do this even if you are new to the topic that you're wanting to speak on see it as documenting in real time there is going to be someone out there who knows less about the topic than you do and they'll really appreciate learning the steps that you're currently at don't put that pressure on yourself to be perfect right from the start because the truth is nobody is and there's a great book that I've read recently called start now get perfect later and this book just really sums up the whole concept of starting now and not waiting until you're perfect at something so if you're interested in that book I'll definitely leave it in my description box for you but it is a must read and if you're into audiobooks the audiobook version is just amazing like it's it really is a great audiobook to read step number seven is to network reach out to people in your space and create a relationship with them this is not a rivalry or a battlefield the world is a very big place so I can guarantee you there's space for everybody so why make it harder on yourself I isolate yourself when you can become a part of a great community of support advice help success stories failures what worked well what doesn't work well all this could be at your fingertips if you just immerse yourself into that community and just really accept the fact that these online people are more so your colleagues and your co-workers rather than your competition. I've personally found that discussing and collaborating with people in my niche has helped grow my brand a lot quicker than it would have been by just doing it alone. So reach out to people, do not be afraid to drop someone a DM, engage with their posts, have a look into Twitter communities or Facebook groups, they are amazing and they are packed with advice and support and just people that overall want to help. So reach out to these people, do not do this alone. And step number eight, I'd say this is is definitely the most important step and it's to discover your key brand message you may want to build a personal brand but you haven't even thought about this yet what is the key message you're wanting to put across what is your why what is the reason for you creating this content and wanting to build this audience this is so important to know and to understand your why because it becomes your roadmap and it keeps you on track for them times where you are contemplating everything you're feeling overwhelmed you're not sure why you're still sticking at this thing your why and your key brand message is what you're going to refer back to to spark back up that inspiration and to just remind you exactly why you are doing this and why it's so important important and why it's going to create such a huge impact so sit down and have a brainstorm of exactly what the message you're sharing is and as soon as you do this I can assure you it will become much clearer and much easier to attract your online audience so that is all the steps for building your personal brand leave me a comment if you found these tips useful in my next video we're going to be digging deeper into discovering your key brand message so if that last point didn't make any sense to you then this video will surely help you out and I also just want to mention that I am offering one-to-one -one strategy sessions so if you are wanting to build your personal brand but you've got no clue where to start you can book on to one of these 90 minute sessions where we really assess and analyze the 
issues that you're facing, we'll come up with solutions and we'll really put that strategy in place so you can build a successful brand. I'll leave the link in my description box where you can sign up, I'll get back to you, we'll have a discovery call which is free and then we'll have the proper session. That's it for this video, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you do not miss my next video on key brand messaging and I'll see you soon. Bye.